Hi guys, this is Rohan and you are watching a video in the series of SQL interview question and answers. In this video, I will be explaining about the CTE query. Uh, it is also called as with clause, right? Uh, CTE is nothing but common table expression. Um, the result set of a CTE is actually stored in memory and not in a physical table. So that's why you can avoid uh, creating multiple temp tables in your transaction, right? And also uh, if you have um, data set that you want to use it uh, very frequently in multiple passes or multiple stages of your query um, if this cities are one of the best practice as well to reuse a certain data set and also uh, since it um, works in within the memory uh, it will be faster and hence uh, used in the performing tuning aspect as well right so let's get started and see how a uh, city query you know works on the uh, database so for this demo, I'll be making use of uh, employee table and department and region uh, and these table have a corresponding uh, you know, data set. So the region uh, table has got region ID and uh, the living cost, right? The living cost may be different at different region. So let's make use of this region uh, along with this uh, living cost to compute uh, the salary hike for each of the employees. So let's get started. So I have this simple query. I'm taking the employee table uh, and then joining with the department based on the department ID, right? So this is our first pass. Um, so I have got all the departments, uh, department name and all the employees uh, with their corresponding salary. So let's see how uh, this can be extended uh, for the city. So here is the syntax. Uh, the CTE block will always start with uh, the keyword called with, right? And then followed by uh, the CTE name, right? Whatever uh, the name you want to give it and as, and within the parenthesis, you will be writing uh, your select star from table query, right? And this should be closed. And then you can write your final select from, you will call it as CTE name. Right, so this is the simple structure. You have only one single uh, CTE block and from there you are reading the uh, final um, you know, query. Suppose if you have multiple passes of um, you know, process. So let's say you want to derive something in the first block that you want to use it in the second block and then third and whatever number you want and then uh, come to a final stage. So in that case, um, this is how you will actually add multiple CTE blocks. So as soon as the first CTE block is complete, all you have to do is just put a comma and then CTE, give a new name and uh, call it as as. And again, you can have your uh, another query, right? Select star from table two and then close it. And then you will arrive at the final select. And here you may want to um, you know, go ahead and uh, join with your second CTE block. Right, uh, you can just copy it here and join it based on uh, whatever column you want to do it. Right, so this is the um, you know multiple CTE block. Similarly, you can have you know any number of uh, CTE. For example, uh, you can uh, create you know name three and four and five and so on. So let's go ahead and uh, do this you know, query changes. Okay, so in order to uh, in a calculate uh, the salary hike what we want to do is uh, we will first have to start with uh, the first CTE block so for that I'll just give a name as SRC SRC is you know uh, the source and I'm gonna close this okay now that we want um, even uh, region based uh, salary hike right so for that I'll create uh, another CTE block I'll put a comma and then I'll call this as you know calculation as and we'll open and we'll close it right inside that we will uh, write our select query and table has region table has uh, the region ID and then the living cost and let's say if you want to give um, like you know 10% uh, salary hike so we will just say you know plus 10 as the uh, salary hike you know percent from region table right our second block is now uh, ready um, we have i think the closer one 
all right so we will based on uh, the first results cte source and then the uh, region calculation right we already you know captured the salary hike percent here so let's write our final uh, select query i will say select department name first name okay i'll call the salary and i will take i'll print the salary hike percentage also so that you can see uh, what that is and comma so i'll prepare this salary multiplied by uh, i will just call it a salary hike um, since we want the percentage i will call it this way and we will call this as you know hike so let's uh, do a close here and now we will say the from from uh, table here our first city which is src uh, we will just uh, alias it as you know a and we will do a join uh, to our CTE calculation and we will call it as B uh, since we will have to join these two we will join it based on uh, A dot department ID equals B dot uh, region ID okay I'm sorry so this has to be joined based on the uh, department location I'm doing it based on the department ID because these are one to one in my example so let's go ahead and uh, test this query out and also in the meantime uh, I'll be providing all these you know data set uh, all the insert uh, statements create statement along with this CTE uh, in my um, you know description box below I'll give the link to download the file so let's go ahead and you know execute this query all right so if you uh, notice here uh, so the department this department uh, there are two employees and um, based on this department and the location the salary hike percentage is you know 11.1 because we are uh, setting the base cell uh, base hike as 10 percent and then adding uh, based on the living cost of that particular region right so that adds up to 11.1 for this department and for uh, this I think uh, this is falling in a different region so uh, the salary hike percent is uh, 11.2 and based on this uh, we would be calculating the salary hike right so this is how uh, you will make use of multiple CTE blocks to arrive at the final um, you know aggregation I hope this was useful uh, keep learning and sharing knowledge thank you and all the best